you know, everybody's recovery is different. Well-trained athletes can really exert their body and still have good recovery. And even poorly trained athletes can just do some minimal stuff and have poor recovery and get sore. And it's nitric oxide that really predicts that recovery phase. If you're well-trained, your body produces enough nitric oxide, you have enhanced mitochondrial function, you, you increase the efficiency of oxygen utilization, and you don't get lactic acid buildup. Therefore, you recover faster. If your body can't make nitric oxide, you, you become energy inefficient, you get lactic acid buildup, you get inflamed, and you have poor recovery and muscle soreness. So I advise take people, number one, improve your body's ability to make nitric oxide, but before any athletic performance or any uh, exercise or any, any type of activity, take nitric oxide, improve blood flow, take out the metabolic waste products, and that will improve your recovery. You know, another common myth is that nitric oxide is just for athletes, and that couldn't be further from the truth. Nitric oxide is essential for optimal human performance and overall health and wellness and longevity. Fortunately, athletes are what we call the early adopters. They're the people who look for any competitive advantage. And when nitric oxide first hit the scene in 1990, late 1990s, it was the athletes who adopted this, try to improve their nitric oxide production so they can improve their performance. And I think that still holds true in athletes, but nitric oxide is not just for athletes. In fact, I'd say that there's only two people in the world who need nitric oxide. It's the people who are sick and want to get well, and it's the healthy people who don't want to get sick. So if you fall in one of those categories, whether you're an athlete or not, then I would suggest you take nitric oxide.